As if we needed more food. Well, we're going to step it up. We're going to go with uh, some high-end food. Oh, yeah. It's Grammys week. Uh, the awards go out this weekend. Sunday is the big night. Yeah, and this morning, we are actually honoring the Red Hen. It's up for new restaurant of the year. Beth Parker. That's right. Hi, guys. Miss I never get to see you in the morning. I know. Good I morning, Beth. You need to bring us food more often. <laughs> I know. See, that's foodie. why I'm here. It's kind of a gift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who do you have with you there this morning, Beth? Well, we are with Michael Friedman. Uh, he's a managing partner and chef at Red Hen. And uh, as you said, he is nominated for a Ramy DC's I Restaurant am. Awards this weekend. Yes. How excited are you? Yeah. We're really excited. We're, we're nominated for uh, Best New Restaurant, and then I'm uh, nominated for Rising Star Chef. So this Sunday, June 22nd, it's going to be at the convention center. All the best chefs are there. It's going to be a lot of friends seeing a lot of friends, and it'll just be a, lo a lovely time. Excellent. And uh, nice to be called a rising star. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can't complain. I'm happy. So and one of the things that, uh, that I loved about Red Hen when I went there for the very first time, walked in, and it has such this great feel to it with the exposed brick and all the yeah, Nicaraguan we, wood. It feels like home. It's very cozy. Thank you very much. Yeah, we worked really hard to make sure that it was a, a restaurant. It felt like a restaurant. It felt like somewhere where you could have a special experience every single time you went. And full disclosure, I do wake up in the middle of the night sometimes <laughs> thinking about your gnocchi with the hazelnut pesto. Oh, so. my gosh. So does my wife. It's a... <laughs> We it's won't a hard get into life. all that, right? <laughs> uh, but so tell me what you're going to make for us today. So we're making uh, a tomato risotto. Happy summer. Okay, so Happy first day summer. of summer. Tomatoes are coming in, and we're going to do a fresh tomato risotto. So usually if you were making a tomato risotto, you'd use canned tomatoes. But we've got these beautiful tomatoes uh, here yeah. for you today. I feel like someone should be here to paint a still life. I know, that. I know. So I'm doing that after if you want to film that as well. <laughs> so uh, we have these beautiful tomatoes. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut this in half. And you always want to use a serrated knife. It's a very important trick. And you really have no mess whatsoever. Um, and another great trick that I learned from my buddy, Jose Andres, is to grate the tomato. And you get all the pulp and the juice and none of the skin. So I'm just going to kind of show you here. I've learned two things already. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's a great day when you learn something. So you have this lovely pulp. And that's actually going to be the base for our risotto. So we're going to go over here. We have a hot pan. A couple ingredients. It's a very simple recipe. A lot of people are scared about risotto, but it's really, really easy to make. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I love cooking with extra virgin olive oil for the flavor. And what okay? scares people? Is it the ability to cook it properly, you think? I think so. I think the, the, the kind of the nervousness to be standing over the pot the entire time and, and whisking and moving. And, and really, it's just about a, about a balance of water or, or stock or whatever you'd like to use. I like to use water in this recipe. So we added a little bit of chopped onion. We're going to add arborio rice, which is kind of like the, the big star of this dish. And it's a, a rice from Italy. And it's a short grain rice, so it's got a lot more starch. And that's what creates that creaminess. So you never want to add cream to your, to your risotto. It's kind of like do, cheating. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like cheating. You know, people, the Italians, they get mad at us if we do that. <laughs> we, okay? get we don't want the Italians to get mad at us. No, my Italian grandmother would be very upset. Oh, my gosh, I bet. <laughs> so we add the risotto. We add the rice, I'm sorry. And we just stir it to coat it with some of that oil. And now the fun begins. We're going to add this lovely pulp. And you can hear that. And you want to hear that. You want to hear that. You want to get that tomato kind of reducing. OK? And you can smell that tomato flavor mm -hmm. coming out immediately, right? Fantastic. It's really, really amazing. And it's really going to add a lot of acid and flavor to that final product. The other thing that we're going to add in the beginning is a little bit of good white wine. You always want to cook with wine that you want to drink. I love drinking this wine. Sebastian, our wine director, he strongly suggests that you come to the Red Hen and drink this wine all night. <laughs> I well, also suggest that. that though. Don't they? they? They cook with wine they wouldn't want to drink. Well, yeah. I mean, a lot of times you get this kind of strange, off-put wine that they sell at the stores. And honestly, you want to open up a good bottle of wine. You want to drink it while you're cooking. It makes the experience a lot more fun. Don't get the kids involved with that because that <laughs> tends to be illegal. OK? So that's going to reduce down. And all that we're going to do as we continue to kind of watch this rice cook, it's going to reduce down. The rice is going to take in a lot of the water or a lot of the, uh, the pulp and the wine. And we're just going to constantly kind of drizzle in some water, move it around a little bit, okay? It's going to come to a boil. And then what you have at the end oh, is I should be this. Stirring this. You should have job, been stirring it. it. <laughs> you know, we're going to have a talk after okay. this segment, okay? <laughs> I'm in trouble already. So what you have is this. This is no butter or no cream or no Parmigiano Reggiano has been added to this. It's just the starch coming out of the rice. Okay. And we've Can just we plate added, it quick? Well, we're, we're gonna, add, yeah, we're gonna, we're here. gonna plate it. We're just gonna add a little bit awesome. of these tomatoes. Okay. Really lovely. We're gonna add a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano, and we're done. Okay. Fantastic. Very, very nice. All we do is use this lovely, ancient wooden spoon, and we put it on the plate. 
and you really want a wavy kind of texture. And there you have it. Lovely Fantastic. risotto. A little bit of basil. Why not? Adds a great herbal flavor. Olive oil. Looks fantastic. So I get to eat bon it all, appetito. right, since we're off the air now. Yes. <laughs> are right. we? I think we are. Just about to be. That's fantastic. gorgeous. Thank you so much, and good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Back out to you guys. I don't know, Beth, if you can compete with us, because uh, we have drinks in hand, although that looks pretty good from what I can see.